legislative session is done for the year, and one of the biggest issues tackled was sports betting, which is now signed into law. But as Bodie Brooks explains, if you're wanting to place a bet, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Bodie. Yeah, Monty. So if you've tried to download FanDuel, DraftKings, Kings, or any of the other big sports books, you still can't make a bet. So why? The bill is signed, legalizing it, right? Well, technically, the law doesn't go into effect until this summer. And even then, it'll still be some time before the rules are in place. Everywhere I go, Dave the producer, whether it's the gym, the grocery store, restaurants, UK games, it doesn't matter. People want to talk to me about two things, medical marijuana and sports betting. Swabbing out the Senate for a cozy studio, Senator Damon Thayer is no stranger to endless questions on sports betting. It's here, it's real, and there's a, there's a good chance that the brick and mortar component could be ready as early as this fall. From the time the law takes effect this summer, Thayer says the State Horse Racing Commission will have six months to lay out the logistics and rules to make it work, starting with in-person bets before bringing the online part online. The online component can't occur without a partnership with the racetracks. So that, that's how we, we keep that money here. The law allows Kentucky's nine tracks to partner with up to three sports books. Thayer says it promotes free market and will have the sports books competing for your business. Joining Thayer on Larry Glover Live, bill sponsor Michael Meredith says sports betting programs just starting in neighboring states are seeing massive popularity. Talk about some tremendous numbers. Over a billion dollars bet in one month. Uh, the month of January in Ohio. And to meet the demand, Thayer says the commission could have the rules set a bit earlier than planned. They're going to try to front load this to be ready for college football season and the NFL. So there's a chance if everything goes well that people could be able to go to the red mile and, and bet the NFL and college football by this fall. And that's the first time that we're hearing the first bets could be made by this fall. And local tracks also making their preps. Thayer says he got a look at renovations happening at Red Mile for a dedicated sports bar there. Amani? I know a lot of people keeping an eye on that there, Bodie. Thank you.